need some PVA glue and water and lots of old newspapers and once it's all dried you'll be able, you'll be able you'll need some paint so you can paint it any colour that you want. We're going to start though with creating the skeleton or the, in, the structure of our dinosaur and I'm going to use some old card that I've cut up from a box from a delivery box and um, newspaper uh, and sellotape to hold it all together um, before we get started on the paper mache, which will be the fun and messy part. So to start with, just need the one piece of card. I'm going to draw the outlines of kind of Diplodocus brontosaurus type shaped dinosaur. It's not going to be perfect, but it should be all right. I'm going to make a 3D one that can stand up. So I've cut out the body and the legs of my dinosaur that I'm going to make and I'm just going to slot the legs onto the body to make it 3D so it can stand up. This is um, quite a basic body shape that I've used. Uh, I've done this before with a T-Rex shape which obviously they stand up a lot more so it's hard for them to balance but you, you design it in a way then for the T-Rex shape that the tail acts as um, like a third foot helping it, it stand up but like a tripod. I'm just gonna some little, just cut cut two slots into the body and cut one on the top of each of the legs. These, none of this needs to be perfect and um, because you can you're gonna cover it with newspaper and paper mache and then paint it. Um, but you can probably see from the body of my dinosaur that I wasn't happy with the first outline that I drew. I've, I've done it quite a few times before, again, before I was happy and I cut it out. And, you know, if you've got enough cardboard um, from deliveries in your house, you can have a go at doing it a few times. with um, rolls of padded newspaper and help just hold it on with sticky tape which then um, will be the base of what we will paper mache over. So I'm going to use, I've got sticky tape to hold it on with but if you've got masking tape that would work really well too. You know, this is just rough so it doesn't have to be perfect because again we're going to cover it with paper mache and paint over it. And we need to do this on both sides as well, so it's not just the one side of the dinosaur. Now 
Now we're ready to start the messy part of the paper mache dinosaur. What you need is some water, PVA glue and lots of torn up pieces of newspaper. The PVA glue to water mixture should be a one part PVA glue to two parts water, which means, for example, if I have, I've got here 200 ml of PVA glue and 400 ml of water, so that's twice as much water as PVA glue that you're gonna use. So you just pour them into the bowl, into a bowl together or a tray, whatever it is you're gonna use. There's your mixture ready. I'd say I've made quite a lot there with a, a 400 and 200 mil. You can always make less because it's easier. To, it's quite easy to make some more if you run out. It's okay. The next thing we need to do is bring in our model dinosaur again that we made um, out of scrunched up newspapers. And you just dip the newspaper, pieces of newspaper into, into the mixture drain off a little bit and just start covering your dinosaur. Uh, I'm not too worried about my table that I'm doing this on but you might want to cover it with newspaper or uh, a wet clean cloth first. Um, but it's not something that I'm too worried about here. We're going to cover the whole dinosaur with pieces of newspaper dipped in this mixture. We're going to do several layers and it will dry solid, so you might want to do one layer, let that dry a bit before you put the next layer on. This dinosaur is something that might take you a couple of days to make, you're not going to necessarily do it all in one afternoon. So it's a little project you can do over the whole week. So my dinosaur now has got several layers of paper mache on it and it's nice and dry, if you can tell. Uh, and now you can put what I would say is an optional layer on if you wanted to of a plain paper. And what that will do is give you a base, a clear canvas to paint onto um, where you wouldn't be able to see so much of the newsprint and pictures coming through. So you'll get a better finish when you paint it. I'm using just some white paper that I've got and it's just paper mache, just the same way as you'd have done with the newspaper. So here's the paper brushy dinosaur now with uh, one layer of white paper on top. You can see how it's um, quite, it's covered the newspaper print quite well. Some areas better than others. I think I might have put uh, an additional piece on top there. So it's, that's probably two layers of white and this is probably what the next one. It depends on the paper you use really. So that's dry now and offers me a lovely blank canvas to paint onto. So I'm just using normal post paint here that we've got, but you could always use acrylic paints if you wanted. And um, post paint goes a little bit further than acrylic paint. Uh, although you can water acrylic paint down a little bit and use it a bit like a wash, like you would with a watercolor, but with a more vibrant color. Uh, you can paint your dinosaur however you choose. So I'd say that I've left, I did leave it to dry overnight. So the first lot of paper mache I left on, it was 24 hours. This um, white layer has been another 24 hours. Um, dry, I, it was completely dry, but it, it's very warm this week, so it's dried quite quickly. Um, it's now ready to paint.
And here's the finished painted dinosaur. I've painted it green, base layer of green and mixed in some yellows, some blues, some reds, so it could camouflage itself into its habitat and where it lived. So entirely up to you though, what colour you paint your dinosaur. Some dinosaurs had, had feathers, so you might want to glue some feathers onto your dinosaur as well as paint it. Uh, if you've got some googly eyes, you could add those to the front as well. It's entirely up to you what creature you make though. You don't have to make a dinosaur, you can make any type of fossil. You might want to try making some bones and make a fossilised prehistoric creature or Jurassic dinosaur. Or even the marine reptile, like an ichthyosaur. All the method, the techniques the same, regardless of how you make it. It's the technique that we've been using to make this one. I'd love to see what you make, so don't forget to post it on our social media of our Warwickshire Museum Facebook page and Instagram. <laughs>